Hi Kadek Radio friends, today the lesson that came up to me to talk to you about in our Spiritist Reflections is, was inspired in me from the 13th chapter of the Gospel according to Spiritism. I read the text which is actually from the Gospel itself when Matthew the Apostle takes notes of Jesus' words regarding our need to be rewarded, to receive a reward whenever you do something. And our dedication to a cause may also be attached to this kind of desire, which is somehow understandable, of course. But let's read the text first. The text begins with the title, Do good without ostentation, without showing off. And Jesus says, Be careful not to do your good works before men, in order to be seen by them. Otherwise, will not receive recompense, reward, from your Father in heaven. Thus, whenever you give alms, do not sound, do not sound the trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and streets, in order to be praised by men. Verily, I say to you that they have received the reward. But whenever you give them alms, or give alms, sorry, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms will be in secret, and your father, who sees in secret what has happened, will reward you. Well, isn't it today one of the easiest times to be seen, to be um, applauded, to be acknowledged by people? Because every time I myself am lecturing or making a video just like this one, uh, I think I need to ask myself very seriously, very sincerely, the, the magic question, what do I want from all this? What do I want by showing myself in public? I guess we have never had such easy times really to be seen in public. Social media is here not to tell, not to let me lie. So, in the present circumstances are these quarantine times, as he have said or he said in previous videos. We've been invited to give thoughts about, second thoughts, about everything we think, everything we say, everything we do. Because these days, we go on speaking, lecturing, teaching, passing on our experience and exchanging experience. But many of us can be far from getting rid of something called vanity, desire of admiration, public acknowledgement. Jesus Christ does not exactly condemn the reward. He doesn't. What he says is, uh, you know, it's an economy of life, economics of life, better. If we look for earthly rewards in the works of the Spirit, we may be running a risk of hearing something like, when we are on the other side of life, on the uh, spirit realms, we may be running the risk of listening while on earth, you were looking for earthly rewards and you had them and they alone pleased you. So do not ask for more. That's what Alan Kardec and the spirits, when they, they break down the subject, they talk to us about and they try to convince us, right? So, uh, it, it doesn't mean that you're going to hell because you are having or you want some earthly rewards from what you're doing. But think about the real thing that we need. We need peace. We need happiness. We need to feel good. We need to be uh, with our conscience cleaned. Right? And... Uh, and if we don't look for that, if we don't focus on that before everything, uh, we may be very disappointed in the future, even in this life, because sometimes circumstances can surround us to teach us the real values in life 
And you said, okay, guy, you look for fame, you look for admiration, you look for uh, a public acknowledgement, and, but what, what about you? What about your soul, your heart? You haven't looked for anything that really would be nourishing you. That's why I can think Kardec Creator has this motto, right, of nourish your soul. Because many things that sometimes we bring to nourish ourselves are not related to the soul, to the real soul needs. So, should we be, uh, stop uh, disseminating spiritual knowledge because of that? Of course not. But we need to take care of ourselves too, since the cause we've embraced wants us to be fine, spiritually fine too. Thank you.